So, what can you tell me about the savior of the South? To really understand the story, I mean, I probably should start at the beginning. Oh, that's really not necessary. It started I'm during here. the 2006 gubernatorial election. Governor Jesse Ventura refused to relinquish the governorship to challenger Richard Dean Anderson, best known as TV's MacGyver. On January 12, 2007, the Minnesota Capitol was seized and barricaded by a group known as the Moose Lodge, who swore <laughs> allegiance to the Ventura control of power. On March 20th, Minnesota's Loyalist Guard successfully besieged the Capitol grounds, forcing the Moose Lodge forces to retreat. Additional regiments of Moose forces congregated in the towns of Mora, Little Falls, and Long Prairie. Huh? You looking for somebody, you moose bastard? Whoa. Ah, fuck. Where the hell am I? Oh, wonderful. He's away. Listen, I, I, had, a, I had a satchel on me, a green satchel. It's got super duper important stuff in it. Ah, I gotta get moving. Ah, I got time to bleed. Here, have some beer cheese soup first. Oh, beer cheese soup. What are we in Wisconsin? Oh my god, is it too salty? Oh, this is probably the best goddamn beer cheese soup I ever had in my life. It's just a little fucking hot. Oh. You got, a, got any little popcorns? The town of Alexandria became a wasteland whose charred remains can be seen from space. Bet you didn't know that. This is all really great but I'd like to get to the story I came for. After the horrors witnessed by both sides, an agreement to have the state into North and South was enacted. This two Minnesota compromise officially began on January 1st, 2010. The North was on the brink of economic ruin. In a desperate attempt to level the playing field, Ventura, with forced cooperation of kidnapped 3M scientists, created a super virus designed to wipe out the greater Twin Cities area. Ventura's master plan to retake control of one Minnesota. So, um, you still haven't told us how you got shot there. Yeah, did you forget to use your safety button? You <laughs> don't know. I don't suppose it has anything to do with this. Busted. You know what they're calling you, don't you? No, I've uh, been taking a break from Facebook lately, so I, I really don't know. Good for you, man. That's a really healthy choice. Yeah, that's really great. Listen, I'm just out here trying to do what's best for Minnesota. Well, if you are who I think you are, and you're doing what I think you're doing... Hey, Elliot. What's up, babe? There's a moose guard outside. We just had an inspection. They're not here for inspections. They're here for me. I hope you're worth it. You think you can outsmart the Moose Guard? You are sheltering an enemy of the Northern State. Are you not? Hard no. Son of a bitch. Do you know what they call me? Uh, I don't know, like Moose or Moose Man? Mr. Moose. Yeah. They call me... 
the finder. Because I, well, I, I find things. Oh boy, we were way off. I will now walk around the cabin, and you will tell me, hot or cold. Two more interviews today. I can't sit through any more of this. Hold on, Antsy Pants. We're almost there. <laughs> Hand over the super virus. Give it. You called in all the border guards, I see. Brilliant. I wonder one thing. I give him enough time to get away? It can't be. No! Make sure that you tell, uh, the body that I said hello. Son of a bitch! No! You moose bastard. <laughs> Thanks for the history lesson. But I really just wanted to know what happened to the savior of the South. Well, my dear, to know that, you'd have to have been there. And lucky for you, I was. That's what Cheese said? Honor his memory. I'm pregnant. Maybe I'll just hold the super virus. <laughs> <laughs>